Right. You made it to this second training mission. This lesson will concentrate on the basic skills of taking off, landing, and the bop up from low altitude. First, I'm going to ask you to turn on the engines by pressing the E key and take off using the collective only. Don't touch the cyclic. You have control. I want you to climb to 200 feet and then immediately press the H key. told you to press the key when we reach 200 feet. You missed the mark. Now take us to 200. Good. Pressing the H key has entered us into the bob up mode. This mode automatically places the helicopter in a hover. The cyclic control is disabled in this mode. You remain in the hover position and the only controls you can use are the collective and the tail rotor controls. Try playing with these now if you want. You will discover there are limits to the bob up mode. It will prevent you climbing too high or sinking too low. Now, you will notice a box on the i hats. This is the hover position box. It represents an 8 foot square projected onto the ground and is a reference point for when you change altitude or yaw in the hover. Bob up mode is useful for hiding at low hover, behind the cover of ridge lines, buildings or trees, and then popping up using the collective control to shoot at enemy targets before ducking back down behind cover again. Since the cyclic is disabled, there is less chance you will drift into any nearby obstacles and suffer a rotor strike. Now, use the tail rotors to face due east. In front of you, you should see a water tower. In a moment, I will ask you to press the tab key to switch off the bob up mode. At that point, you will regain control of the cyclic. I want you to fly the helicopter out to the water tower, fly around it, and come back to a hover over this airstrip. When you get back here, I want you to go into bob up mode again. Now, press the tab key to switch off bob up. Take her back to the airstrip. Good. Now we're back at the strip and I want you to position yourselves over a safe landing point on the tarmac and come to a hover. Check your position relative to the ground by looking at one of the external views. Press the F3 key, F4 key, or F5 key to look at this Apache using one of the external views. Using these, you can judge your position over the ground. Press the F1 key to return to the cockpit view. When you've found a clear landing point, press the H key to go into bob up mode. If you're sure the area below is clear of obstacles, you can attempt a landing. If it's not clear, press the tab key to come out of Bob Up and reposition yourself. Shortly, you're going to attempt to land. To land, you will first come out of Bob Up mode. Gently, you will reduce the collective so as to lose height. You must use the cyclic to keep the helicopter perfectly level during the descent. Keep an eye on the altimeter. Try not to descend too fast, or you will crash or buckle the undercarriage. Gently lower the helicopter to the ground. In the last few feet, the backwash from the ground will kick it in and provide a small cushioning effect, but don't rely on it too much. 
Keep a careful eye on your rate of descent, and try not to pitch the cyclic at all. Whatever happens, try not to crash. The American public don't take kindly to us throwing away their hard-earned tax dollars. Now press the tab key to come out of Bob Up, and try your descent. Okay, good landing. You've earned your wings. Now you can quit the mission here if you want by pressing the escape key. However, you can take off and practice some more landings if you want. Just press escape when you want to quit.